Hello, I'm Bill Bullard with RCAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Well, in September, 24 congressional members filed a petition with the USTR, or United States Trade Representative, seeking an investigation into the flood of imported fruits and vegetables from Mexico. They allege that Mexico is attempting to displace Florida's fruit and vegetable growers from the U.S. market. The petition also states Mexico poses a direct threat to Florida's seasonal and perishable agricultural industry, endangers the long-term food security of the U.S., and raises the prospect that Mexico may soon have the ability to set market prices that harm American consumers. But in October, the USTR denied the request for an investigation and instead agreed to help develop solutions to hold Mexico accountable for its unfair trade practices. But this petition helps mark a turning point in America's decades-long belief that free trade, whatever results it produces, is good for America. For decades, Congress turned a blind eye to imports that harm U.S. farmers and ranchers. And it's refreshing that Congress is finally looking at the problem from a realistic standpoint, as opposed to the idealistic standpoint they've adhered to for decades. But for one important U.S. agricultural industry, Congress may be too late. You see, Congress's previous refusal to accept the factual outcomes of free trade has destroyed the commercial U.S. sheep industry. And by commercial, I mean sheep operations large enough to be considered standalone, economically viable businesses. So let's look at how America destroyed a commercial sheep industry. And let's start just over a generation ago, in 1980. In the early 80s, there were over 100,000 sheep producers scattered across the nation and there were 12.4 million sheep and lambs. Now, all of those producers were not what we call commercial producers. So if you look only at the number of producers who had a flock size of more than 100 head, there were about 17,300 commercial sheep operations in the U.S. And to put that in perspective, there were more commercial sheep operations back then than there are McDonald's restaurants in the U.S. today. But the latest agricultural census shows America wiped out over 60% of those commercial sheep operations. And the U.S. sheep and lamb inventory has likewise been cut by nearly 60%. We have only 5.4 million sheep and lambs left in America. And today, the number of U.S. sheep operations is now less than half the number of McDonald's restaurants in the U.S. So what happened? Did American consumers cut their lamb consumption by 60%? That would certainly explain the sheep industry's collapse. But that's not the case. In fact, American lamb consumption has been increasing year over year since 2011 and has been at historic highs since 2018. So something else happened. And here's what happened. Throughout the 80s and into the early 90s, the U.S. sheep industry increased and decreased its annual production as domestic consumption increased and decreased. In other words, production was in synchrony with consumption. But in the mid-90s, when America fell head over heels for free trade and entered the age of globalization by entering the North American Free Trade Agreement in 94 and the World Trade Organization in 95, something went terribly wrong with the synchronization between production and consumption. After the mid-90s, as domestic consumption was increasing, domestic production was decreasing. Suddenly, there was an inverse relationship between lamb consumption and lamb production. What happened was cheaper imports. Imports of lamb, primarily from Australia, were increasing year over year and displacing domestic lamb production. And rather than take steps to preserve a viable sheep industry to secure our nation's food security, Congress not only looked the other way, but in 2005, it entered a free trade agreement with Australia the primary source of the cheap imports that were destroying the U.S. sheep industry. And one year later, the U.S. sheep industry became the first livestock sector in America to be outsourced, as imports then became the primary source of lamb for American consumers, meaning the U.S. had to import more lamb than the beleaguered U.S. sheep industry could any longer produce to satisfy America's appetite for lamb. And while domestic consumption increased year over year since 2011, it is imports that have satisfied that domestic growth, while domestic production has continued its downward trajectory. In fact, last year, imports captured over 60% of the U.S. lamb market. And that's how America destroyed her commercial sheep industry. 
It's also how Congress has jeopardized America's food security, which it did by relying upon its free trade ideal instead of common sense. And now you do know the cattle industry is on the same path. And if you want to help reverse it, please go to labelourbeef.com to join with us before it's too late. With that, have a productive week. Thank you and goodbye.